Because Prabhupada was the pure devotee of Radharani. Every single day of Prabhupada's life, Prabhupada pray, uh, Prabhupada's father, Gormohan Day, he prayed to every single sadhu. Please, you bless my son, that he becomes a pure devotee of Radharani. Every day, every single sadhu, not one or two or three, but four sadhus every day came to Prabhupada's house. And Gormohan Day is, he said, please, you give your ashravad, you give your blessings, that my son becomes a pure devotee of the Lord. And when Prabhupada went to New York on the boat, he wrote one Bengali bhajan to glorify Radha Damodar. That's in the front of Gita Gan, Prabhupada's uh, versified Bhagavad Gita in Bengali. And there, of course, he glorifies. He said, Oh, my Lord da Radha Damodar, I am so far from you, but you are the Lord's of my heart. And then he wrote another prayer in Boston. And he said, My brothers, listen. Oh, brothers, he's looking at America and he's looking at all these conditioned souls in Boston and, and Tawako and New York and every other place over there. And he's saying, Oh, my brothers, let, I want to declare it to you emphatically that if you want to attain the mercy of Krishna, that first and foremost, you must surrender to and attain the mercy of Srimati Radhika. This is in this uh, prayer, Markin Bhagavat Dharma. He, he writes in Bengali, You must, he's saying, I emphatically emphatically with great emphasis and without a doubt you must put your petition there so Prabhupada's first message Prabhupada's first message to the residents of America and means the western world was become servants of Radharani <laughs> I mean that's one way of looking at it I declare to you emphatically if you want to attain the service of Krishna it's there Prabhupada's first first thing he spoke so Radharani's face is decorated with the smile of pure love for Krishna. And her face is as beautiful and as splendorous as millions and millions of full moons. The beauty of Radhika's chin has defeated and bewildered Cupid. It's explained in another place by Dasko Swami that Radhika's chin looks like a golden lotus petal. A golden lotus petal with a, bum with a bumblebee sitting on it. A golden, her chin looks like a golden lotus petal with a black bumblebee sitting on it. That black bumblebee are the musk drops, kasturi, kasturi bindu. Her, her chin, Radharani's chin, is decorated with some black drops of musk. Kast, we say kasturi or musk in English, kasturi. It's a very wonderful, fragrant, uh, an exotic smell coming from the, the uh, musk ox. And when Radharani... That that drop on her chin simply intoxicates Krishna and drives him completely mad. That's why it says that this chin of Radharani bewilders even Cupid himself. So Krishna becomes mesmerized just to see those drops of musk on Radharani's beautiful chin. Bearing all the marks of wonderful beauty, Radharani's neck is ornamented with a string of pearls. Radha's neck, back and sides are enchantingly gorgeous. Radhika's breasts are like splendid golden water pots covered by a bodhis decorated with a pearl necklace. Radharani's beautiful and enchanting arms are decorated with jeweled armlets and bracelets. Radha's hands are two red lotus flowers illuminated by the series of moons that are fingernails. Actually, it's explained elsewhere that she wears a signet ring. A signet ring means it's a ring that has a, uh, has a name on it. Srila Prabhupada was given a ring by... Brahmananda, I believe. A gold ring, and it said uh, Hare Krishna on it. The thing is, it said Hare Krishna. Famous ring. He would get several of them. Prabhupada would wear it for some time. That's called signet. Signet ring. So, Srimati Radharani, she has one ring on her finger. A ring finger. A signet ring. And what does it say? Sham. <laughs> and Sham's name is there. And then she has one locket around her neck. Like sometimes your great-grandmother or something had a locket in the old days, in the 1800s or something. In the West, old ladies, they would wear some necklace, silver necklace with a little a locket. They call it cameo. And inside they have a picture of their, uh, you know, their Romeo or something, and their cameo. They would have their lover inside. So Radharani also wears a necklace, with a, lo a locket. And there's a picture inside. There's a beautiful painting. Of course, there's no photographs in those days. But there's a beautiful miniature painting, just like you can see, if you have a lot of money, you can hire B.G. Sharma to make a miniature painting for you. And he can make a miniature painting one inch by one inch of Radha and Krishna. Very beautiful, very detailed. You pay $10,000, $15,000, you can get. So Radharani, Chitrasaki, Chitrasaki is her Ashtasaki. She's an expert artist. Of course, Radharani is even better artist. 
So either she or Chitra painted a beautiful picture of Sham, and she wears it around her neck as a locket. So this is some of the jewelry that she wears, the ornaments. <laughs> 